Welcome to Daily Sourdough. First of all, I just want to say thank you for all the very kind comments that you post. You all are proof that there are still lots of good people in the world. Today we are going to make sourdough discard pumpkin pecan pancakes. Fantastic! Yesterday I was planning on, make, on starting some sourdough dinner rolls, so I fed my starter and as you can see, it was really lively and it leaked out all over my crock here. And then I didn't even have time to make them, so my starter deflated and now it's not really ready to make dinner rolls with. And I need to feed it and get it ready for dinner rolls, so that means I have to get rid of most of it. So I have all this discard in here that I need to use up. Discard pancakes are the perfect way to use it. And that's what a discard recipe is. When you have extra sourdough starter and you want to use it up so that you can feed your starter and get it lively for some, some other recipe, you don't want to throw it away. So use it in a recipe like pancakes or some of my other discard recipes. All right, to make the sourdough discard pumpkin pecan pancakes. Start with two cups of discard. And that's going to use up almost all my discard, which is good because then I can feed it and get it lively for my dinner rolls tomorrow. So roughly two cups. That looks about right. And add to that one cup of pumpkin puree. And you know, I say pumpkin puree, but so many times I use butternut squash or Hubbard squash or banana squash. Any of the orange squashes will taste just like pumpkin when you add all the spices. So, and in fact, I like them better because they're sweeter than pumpkin. So most of the time I'll use Hubbard squash because that's my favorite. Now to this mixture. Add two tablespoons of oil, and today I'm using walnut oil because the walnut oil has a nutty flavor and it really adds to the pumpkin pancakes. It's a very nice addition. Then add two tablespoons of maple syrup. So that's our sweetener instead of sugar today. However, if you're using a really sweet squash, you might not even need a sweetener at all and then add one teaspoon of vanilla and mix that up really well. Now add two eggs. And beat those eggs in until they're completely incorporated. And finally, add one to two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice, half a teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of soda. And if you want, you can add extra cinnamon. Our batter has really foamed up and it's ready to cook. So there are two ways of adding the pecans and the chocolate chips. You can add them straight to your batter and stir it up, which is actually easier to cook that way. Or if you have picky eaters, you don't want to add it directly to the batter. Just sprinkle it on top as you're cooking. And that's what I'm going to be doing today. Make sure your griddle is good and hot before you start cooking the pancakes. And of course, I'm using a cast iron pan because that always makes the best pancakes and you get a little bit of iron in your food when you use cast iron. So that's what we're using today. Take a scoop of the pancake batter and just put it right into the pan. So there you have it friends, a really delicious and simple sourdough discard recipe. Be sure and give it a try. You're going to love it. And stay tuned for more recipes coming up on Daily Sourdough.